Hi guys, this is Megha Verma. Welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how to design the social media post in Coral Room. So without any delay, let's get started. So this is the size of our social media post. Now first we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a square. Now we will set the size of the square. 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels now we will set the align of the square first we will click on specified point then align center horizontally and align center vertically now we will select the square and we will make a copy by ctrl c and we will paste the control we now will right click and we will select convert to curves now we will select the shape tool from the toolbar and we will delete this node by double click now we will select this triangle and we will make a copy by ctrl c and we will paste with the ctrl v now we will click on mirror horizontally now we will decrease the size of this triangle Now we will select this square and we will drag like this and we will make a copy by right click. Now we will drag this rectangle like this and we will right click to make a copy. Now we will right click and we will select convert to curves. Now we will select the shape tool and we will drag this node like this. Now we will select this square and we will select the interactive fill tool. Now we will click on fountain fill. Now we will adjust the interactive fill tool. Now we will set the colors. We will select the color and we will drop like this. We will adjust. Now we will select this triangle and we will fill white color. Now we will select the second triangle and again we will fill white color. Now we will select this rectangle and we will fill white color. Now we will select this shape and we will fill gray color. Select this triangle and we will drag like this and we will right click to make a copy. Now we'll fill color. Now we we'll press control page down two times to send back. Now we we'll select all and we will remove the outline by right click. Now we'll select the common shapes from the toolbar and we will select the triangle shape and we will draw with the control key. Now I will go to the window menu and we will select docker. Now we will select corner. Now we will select the fillet option and we will click on apply we will keep the radius 200 pixels now we will adjust the size and we will place now we will select the interactive fill tool now we'll click on copy fill now we'll click on this gradient now we will adjust Now we will set color. Now we will select the 
contour tool from the toolbar and we will apply on this shape now we will right click and we will select break contour apart now we will select this inner shape and we will fill white color now we will select both and we will make a copy by drag and right click now we will decrease the size and we will place now we will change the color now we will import one image now we will increase the size of this image now we will right click and we will select power clip inside now we will click on this white shape now we will click on edit now we will adjust the image according to the shape now we will click on finish now we will select both and we will adjust now we have these details now we will place this first we will place the logo company name and the tagline we will give a white color to the text now we will select both and we will adjust now we will select the rectangle tool and we will draw a rectangle according to this text now we will blue color now we will remove the outline by right click now we will send back with the control page down. Now we will adjust the size of the rectangle. Now we select both and we will press C to align center. Now we place this text here. Now we give a white color. Now we will zoom and we will edit the text. Now we will select this text and we will give a bold look to highlight. Now again we will select the rectangle tool and we will draw a rectangle. Now we will fill color. Now we will send back. Now we will adjust according to the text. Now we will select both and we will press the two line center. Now we will place this text on this shape. We will give a bold look to highlight. Now we will change color. Now we will select this text, now we will give a white color and a bold look. Now we will go to the text menu and we will select fit text to path. Now we will fit the text to this shape like this. Now we will select this shape and we will go to the object menu. Now we will select break text apart. Now we will select the text and we will adjust like this we will place like this now we place the contact details now we change color now we will adjust the size Now we will place the website address and we will give a white color. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will select this rectangle and we will make a copy by drag and right click. Now we will decrease the size. Now we will give a white color to this 
rectangle now we'll select this text and we will make a copy by control c and we will paste with the control v now we will change the color of the rectangle now we have this text and the paragraph now we'll place this first we will place this text on the rectangle now we'll change the color of the text now we'll give a bold look now we'll select this text and the rectangle now we will double click and we will set, set the center point like this now we will rotate now we'll select this blue rectangle now we'll select the shadow tool from the toolbar and we will apply like this now we'll place this paragraph now we'll give a white color now we have this social media icons now we'll place this we will place on this gray shape now we will change the color and we will adjust the size now we'll select this shape and we will select the shadow tool now we'll apply like this now we will apply on this shape now we will apply on this rectangle now we'll select this text and we will give a bold look now we will increase the size of this text now we'll select this shape and we will adjust the size so guys our social media post design is ready I hope you like the design. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, you can ask me on the comment box. Please like, share and comment and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get updates of my videos. Thanks for watching.